So today I'll be showing you guys my updated Draco Pal deck list post Rise of the Duelist. In the last deck profile that I recorded, that was before we learned about the new Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon card, or the import I should say from the OCG. That is making its way in that set as a secret rare. That card just opens up so many possibilities for so many different dragon based decks, especially Draco Pal. So let's just get right in the profile. I'm going to go through the actual deck profile pretty quickly. And then I'm going to show a combo at the end and explain some of the new cards and why I'm playing them and how they work. So first for the Draco Pals, or for the Pals, I guess we should say, we have the three Pendulum Sorcerer, the one Odd Eye Synchron, the Lizard Draw, and the Turtle for the Pot of Greed combo, and the second Dunk. So to explain them very, very quickly in case you guys don't know, because these are older cards and you guys don't know, Pendulum Sorcerer, when it's Special Summoned, you can pop up two cards on the field, then add that same amount of number of Perform Pal Monsters from your deck to your hand. So typically what you do is you pen summon it, pop your scales, add two, these two, Lizard Draw and Get Turtle, they let you draw two basically. You activate Get Turtle, then you scale Lizard Draw. You draw one from Get Turtle, pop Lizard Draw, draw another card. So that's basically just a pot of greed. Second Donkey is a Stratus if you have two scales. And then Odd Eyes Synchron, it turns a monster you control, or turns a, I just believe it has to be an Odd Eyes or a Pendulum or Perform Battle, yeah. Odd Eyes or Perform Battle monster you control into a level one tuner. And uh, this is an Earth, these are Earth, so you can go into Nappies with those. So. This is like the main part of the deck, so say this is the reason why I wanted to play this deck was because Pendulum Sorcerer is such a cool card. However, with Revolution Dragon, these cards aren't really as needed. Like, you could definitely just cut these entirely and make like a Draco Magician deck and the deck would just be better, but I just really like these cards and wanted to play them. Uh, there's a lot less pressure on this uh, little engine too to be good because you have Revolution Dragon, so... Anyway, next up we have the Draco, so we have the 2 Luster, 3 Master, I only have 2 Luster, otherwise I would play 3. I don't like proxying cards too much, granted I am proxying the Revolution Dragons because they're not out yet and they're really expensive, but um, with Revolution Dragon being out now, only having 2 of this isn't as much of a problem as it was before, because there were times where I would really wish I had the 3rd one in my deck before Revolution Dragon was, was a card, and now with only 2 it's really not that bad. Uh, you really summon these off of the Ignister, I am not playing Draco face off again, Draco Faceoff is a good card, but I don't really feel like it's worth playing an extra brick just for a one of that's an extender. It doesn't make a lot of sense. So yeah, these cards, you need them for Ignister. Ignister is so much better now, and you can get it to so much easier with Revolution Dragon being card, which uh, is just really, really good. And then speak of the devil, we have the three proxy Revolution Dragon. So what does this card do in case you guys don't know? It has two really good effects, rather a good pendulum effect and then a good monster effect. So the pendulum effect is... Uh, it locks you into Pendulum Summoning Dragons, which is unfortunate, but what it does in the Pendulum Effect is you can pop it and then Special Summon a Dragon, Fusion, Synchro, or XYZ from your graveyard, which doesn't come up much in this deck, but in a lot of other decks, I think the Dragon Link focus decks, this will come up sometimes. I know um, Dragoon to place that. The Monster Effect is why you play it. So there's a whole bunch of stuff it does, but the key card or the key point of this card is you discard it, pay 500 life points, then add a level 8 or lower Dragon Pendulum Monster from your deck to your hand. It has a few other effects that don't really matter because you're never going to have it on the field because it's like a level 12 or level 11, I think. So what you do with that is you can actually search for your Dark Worm, which is really, really cool. I'm also playing the 1 gate 0 to get it. And you can also search for your Luster or search for your Master. So this card just allows you to search for so many different things. Typically your Dark Worm, I'm only playing two just because I'm kind of really focusing on like the roll of five with Yu-Gi-Oh! if that makes sense. It's something that I'm really experimenting a lot with lately. And basically that rule is if you have a 40 card deck and you play 5 of a card, you're going to open it 50% of the time, which is like a really good number, versus if you have 6, your chance of opening multiples goes up. So that's why I'm kind of playing just like the rule of 5. Granted, I say that as I'm still playing the Sky Iris, 2 Sky Iris and the 1 Terraforming, just because I really, really want to get into the Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. So you can go Sky Iris, pop a scale, search Revolution Dragon, and then I'm just playing the 1 Shrine and the 1 Foolish for the Dark Worm because... You want to get with Dark Room, like I said in the last deck profile, the main problem I was having with this deck is getting to a Link 2 before your Pendulum Summoning and having actual cards to Pen Summon was really a problem because there's times I get to a Link 2 and then have like nothing to Pendulum Summon or I would have to Pendulum Summon to get to the Link 2 and then I'd be locked out of really good stuff. The Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon helps a lot with that. So anyway, uh, one Spiral Dragon, this is like my Red MD basically, uh, helps you make rank 8s. Really, really good card. Uh, the one sloth, which you can also search off Revolution Dragon if you really need to, but this is here really to summon off of Hierotic Seals. And then we have the Magician Engine of the deck. So I'm playing the Double magi or double Harmonizing, Double Herbal Poison, one Black Fang, and then getting into the spells a little bit here. We have, the, or again, because we had the Sky Iris before, I guess. Uh, but we have the Triple Duelist Alliance and the Double Pen Call. So again, uh, at the end, I'm going to show you a combo that involves the Magicians and involves Revolution Dragon. 
and the magicians just allow you to make really strong boards no, not really strong boards but strong herb boards and go forward a lot more so this deck like i said in the past really not a super strong deck because you can't put up the most negates if you play draco pal in 2020 you're not playing it because you think it's a really good deck you're playing it because you want to play draco pal if that makes sense and the magician just make them a little bit better because it allows you to pretty much always get into a rank 8 or a level 8 synchro being the nister a lot easier pen call dark worm is like such a good combo too Dual Slime searches out so many cards in the deck because you get Penko, you get your Magicians, you get your Luster, you get your Master Pendulum, or your uh, Pendulum Sorcerer, I should say. Uh, yeah, all in all, this engine, the Magician engine, is really, really good in this deck. And I think that you're probably better off just playing Draco Magicians. But uh, like I said, I really want to play the Performer Palace. Also, I'm not sure if this is like the most optimal variant. This is just what I came up with so far after my own testing. And uh, it's it's not necessarily stronger than before in terms of the end boards it puts up. But it's way more consistent because of the Revolution Dragon. Uh, anyway, then we got two Allure and two or three Allure, two Desires to wrap out the deck. 40 cards. Uh, space was a little bit tight. There was some other stuff I wanted to play. Uh, I would have liked the third Sky Iris. I would have liked to play some other things, but uh, this is what we have. So, anyway, onto the extra deck. We have the one Ignister, the main card of the deck. This just summons out a Draco monster from the deck. That's the main reason why you play it. Going second, you can spin a card, and it's not hard once per turn. So, you bring that with Pisty, and Pisty is like the best dragon or the best link monster in the deck probably uh then we have the one master pendulum which special summons one from the extra deck which comes up sometimes one dinosaur the only reason why i play this is because it allows me to get another level eight out pretty easily so i can go to hope harbinger with the synchro if i need to and uh, that's it for the uh, ignister cards and then for the guard dragons we have pisty lp i'm playing this as a generic link too because it's a dragon it could be any generic link too i just like that it's a dragon because if i somehow have lp out before this um, I have something to get rid of it that isn't my Hieratic Seal. So speaking of Hieratic Seal, here we go, Hieratic Seal, Saryuja, and Triple Burst mainly for arrows. Sometimes specialing off Saryuja comes up, it came up more before Evolution Dragon, but it's still a good card to have. The Titanic Galaxy to end with, and then the last couple of cards are more like flex cards that don't really, aren't really needed for the deck. But we have the Rank 4 of Choice and Dwell, you need at least one Rank 4 I would say. Uh, Draco Masters of Tengi, just for a, another generic Link Monster that points down, it has three pointing down arrows, so you can get three Pendulum Summons off from the extra deck, which is pretty good. Uh, one Baguska is my other rank four. Borload, this should be probably Boral Sword, could be access code, I just have Borolo. I have so many Borolos laying around, it's because they're common, so that's why I have it. And the one Naturia Beast, because you can go into it if you get into the Odd Eye Synchron, with uh, uh, either Second Donkey and Pendulum Sorcerer, or two Pendulum Sorcerers, or if you summon out one of your other Earth Monsters. Uh, you can do it that way so now to get into the combo the combo is going to be there's a lot of ways to get into this combo but the combo is basically revolution dragon plus pendulum call plus literally any normal summonable pendulum monster that can be pen summoned so we're going to use Guturtle here for this instance it could literally be anything it could be an abyss actor it could be an ignite like it doesn't matter so what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to use the Revolution Dragon's effect to pay 500 life points and discard it. And then you're going to want to get your Dark Worm. So again, this could just start as Pen Call Dark Worm. This could be, say, Dragon Shrine, Pen Call, Normal Summon, plus any card. There's so many ways to get into this uh, that even though it is technically a two and a half, three card combo, uh, you can get to it a lot. So then we're going to Pen Call, just cut the Dark Worm. And it is susceptible to hand traps. But, you know, again, you're not playing this deck because you think it's the best deck. You're playing this deck because Draco Pals are pretty cool. So we're going to get our Magicians out. So we're going to get a Harmonizing and then a level or rank eight, not rank eight, scale eight. Also, this could be the uh, Celestial Magician. I just don't have one because that's also searchable by Pendulum Sorcerer. So it's a little bit better because the effect doesn't really come for either of them, just the names, it's better. So we're gonna bring back the Dark Worm and Dark Worm is going to get us our gate zero for our scale zero. We're going to normal summon our other Pendulum Monster. Make sure you don't summon the Harmonizing or anything like that. We're gonna link to and then we're going to summon out our generic link to it's gonna be cut off a little bit i do apologize i'll try to move things down a little bit hopefully that's better i can't really see it on my end though uh so we're going to summon that and then from here we're going to set our scale we'll put the gate zero and we'll put the black fang and then we're going to pendulum summon so we're going to put our dark worm on the left of the link monster because it's going to be a pissy then we're going to summon our good turtle or whatever the other pendulum monster is harmonizing harmonizing can activate and it's going to summon out any level four magician you have in your deck in this case we should have two purple poisons left so we're going to summon that. Now, if you have a dragon as your any other pendulum monster, this is a little bit better because you're going to LP a little bit easier and extend farther. But for this combo, we're doing it the simplest way, easiest way to show. We're going to synchro summon the pearl poison and the harmonizing. Pearl poison gets banished from harmonizing's effect. 
and we're gonna go into our Ignister. Ignister's effects can activate and we are going to special summon out the Master Pendulum. Then from here, we're going to take the Dark Worm, we're going to link it, and we are going to summon out Pisty. Where is my extra deck? There's my extra deck. I'm gonna summon out Guard Dragon Pisty. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the Gaturtle, we're gonna take the Link 2, and we're gonna take the Ignister, and we're going to go into a copy of Sir Yuja Skulldred. And uh, here again, like if you have anything in your hand, you could extend out, you could special it. Uh, it really depends on your hand. And basically what I'm trying to say is this combo, it's not the strongest combo, but there's a lot of ways to get to it. It's pretty consistent now because of Revolution Dragon. So we're going to use Pisty's effect to bring out this guy. And oh, would you look at that? It's not a hard once per turn, so we can do it again. That's pretty cool. So we're going to do it again, and we're going to summon out a another master. And then from here, what we're going to do is we have a couple of options. So what we can do here is we can just go straight into seals with these two and then make a rank four. And that way we have seals plus dweller. Seals will summon out a Morph H Sloth. Again, not the strongest combo, but you know, it can get you there. But there's another thing we can do here, which is uh, a little bit weird. So what we can do here actually is we can take the master or one of the masters and we can go into LP and then we can take these two and we can go into seals and then we can use LP's effect to bring out the Galactic Spiral Dragon, if I can find it. And we can use Spiral Dragon's effect to make Master a, a rank 8, or level 8, and then go for a rank 8. So basically, no matter what, you're getting seals plus either a rank 4 or a rank 8, whatever you think is better for the matchup. And it's just if you would rather have the Ignister out or rather have the Guard Dragon out. So again, you know, not a really super strong combo, but you can get to it really consistently. And there are some decks where like, a bounce on the gate plus an extra deck lock is is going to get you there. Or a bounce, a Dweller extra deck lock, bounce, Tornado Dragon extra deck lock. Uh, there's a lot of rank fours you can play that are pretty good. That's it for the deck though. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. This is like sort of my first draft of the deck since seeing that Revolution Dragon is coming out. So I'm sure there's ways to improve it. I definitely plan on showcasing an improvement if, if I come up with one or if somebody shows me one. Because um, I haven't really seen anybody play Draco Pal since... Revolution Dragon got regular, at least show a deck list. So this is pretty much all off of whatever I know and work from the deck. So either way, I am rambling. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you all next time. I'll have an appliancer video coming out soon. And bye-bye.